So in the Gospels, in the Christian tradition, two greatest commandments are, as Jesus famously said, you should love God and love God with all that is in you. One entails the other, love of God and love of uh, neighbor. So in Gospel of Luke, the story of the Good Samaritan illustrates the command for what, how to love one's neighbor. Now, in other Gospels, we don't have the story of the Good Samaritan. In Gospel of Mark, in, in Matthew's Gospel, there are no stories that illustrate this. In the uh, uh, Gospel of, Ma- uh, of Mark, there is a story like this. And the story is the story of the poor widow, to which we will come shortly. But first, what the Jesus does, he tells what loving God and neighbor in particular does not mean. And what he mentions there is a person who loves the seeds of honor on the banquets, who speak long prayers so that people would be impressed, uh, who loves to be greeted in public spaces, and interestingly enough, who devour uh, possessions of widows. That's going to prepare you for the next uh, section about about the, the the widow, and you can see that the person who are persons who are all into themselves, right? Uh, they're all into other people being into them as well, <laughs> if they're into themselves, and they also will find any means available to them in order to feed their egos, in order to boost them, and often the weakest members of society become the victims precisely of such people, because they're easiest to extract the, the goods. And widow, an orphan in the Hebrew Bible, are typical examples of just such persons. Now, so that's, that's what, this, uh, the, what love isn't, according to Gospel of, of Mark. And then comes this story of the widow's offering, which illustrates what love is. And we see it in Mark 12, Mark 12 41 to 44. Um, and Jesus reports then Jesus' reaction after observing people put money into temple treasury. So now we are in a situation in the temple, and he's observing what people do that come to the temple. You're familiar, some of you at least, with the story. Jesus sat down opposite of the treasury and watched the crowd putting money into treasury. It's not a very kind thing to do, right? <laughs> I mean, you, you sit and somebody offering plate is going and you kind of look what's... And it seems a little bit intrusive, but uh, Jesus uh, seems not to often pay attention to the proper morals of behavior. We'll, we'll teach him, um, if, he, if he could, to certain manners. Uh, so at any rate, he was watching. And the poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which are worth a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury, for all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. I don't know about you, but it's a kind of disturbing story to me. Almost wish she didn't do that. You almost wish she were more prudent about how she was spending. You wish that the money out of the treasury was given to her, but that wouldn't quite work because uh, Jesus said that the scribes and Pharisees do exactly the, the opposite. Nonetheless, what's interesting in this is that. Her love is not measured by the amount of benefit it produces, it confirms upon persons in need. If that were the case, if love were measured by the amount of benefit it confers, she would have given just that penny, which was the worthless amount of love in that case. And Jesus said, no, it's measured by the level of sacrifice of the lover, not by the level of benefit that the lover confers. Sacrifice, character of sacrifice, is an indicator that in giving, 
in loving one is not concerned for oneself, but also, in this case, primarily with others, and that one is loving them as one loves, in her case, actually more than one loves oneself. 